Yes, yeah, so LLM rank tracking or mention tracker or brand trackers are all BS. And here's why. Unlike Google, where if you go to Google Keyword Planner, a free Google tool, Google Keyword Planner, Google Keyword Planner gives you the data on what people are searching for, right? How much they're searching for that keyword and the location they're searching for it on. So you go there and it gives you stuff like this with all the keywords and their search volume, which is fantastic, right? And it's because of that, we can use the classic rank trackers where you input a keyword and it tells you, hey, listen, for this keyword, you rank first. For that keyword, you rank third. And here's the change in positioning. That's why rank tracking as a whole works because there's data. Now, with LLMs, ChatGPT, Perplex, Grok, Cloud, they do not give you data on the prompts people are searching for. We don't know, right? We don't know the prompts people are searching for. So all these LM rank tracking softwares are BS. Why? Because if you open up any of these, right, and put in a prompt, let's say we put in the prompt, what's the best AI SEO writer for 2025 for agencies in 2025? It tells us, hey, listen, hey, that's great. You're mentioned 10 times on this search prompt. And that's fantastic. However, it's not. Why? Because we have no idea the search volume of this prompt. So our brand could be mentioned a billion times for a billion different prompts, but it all could be pointless because none of these prompts have search volume. I mean, we don't know, right? We don't know. All these LM rank trackers, Ahrefs building one, they're all of them all across the board, are, they're pointless, right? Because you input a search prompt and you have no idea if this search prompt has any traffic. So the data is pointless. There's nothing you can do with this data. There's nothing tangible you can do, look and say, hey, hmm, okay, I mentioned 10 times for this prompt. Let me optimize for this prompt. First of all, that's gonna be hard. There's, you can sort of do it, but then why would you optimize for a for something, for a prompt or a long form keyword, you have no idea if there's search traffic for. You're flying blind. Applying this to the, the classic Google keyword, keyword, Google keyword Planner, excuse me, let's say you wanna track if you rank for the keyword, I don't know, whatever keyword, right? You put it into a rank tracker and it says, hey, you rank first for this keyword, but it has zero search volume. So do you wanna rank for that keyword? Do you wanna put more effort into ranking for variations of that keyword? Do you wanna beef up the page that keyword's ranking for in terms of CTR? to optimize CVR, excuse me, to optimize the conversion rate of that page? Do you wanna add a puppet to that page? I mean, most likely no, because nobody's coming to your site through that keyword search on Google or Bing. Hopefully it's making sense. Again, all these LM rank trackers, they're only become, they only become useless if they give you the search volume for the prompts. And they don't, because they can't, because this data isn't available. OpenAI, all these engines do not give us this data. Now, some of them, what they could do is take the prompt and try to extrapolate a keyword from the prompt, a, a shorter version, right? Because all, all a prompt is, is, is a long keyword, right? You could search for this on Google, you call it a keyword. Because you search for it on, on GPT, you call it a prompt. It's, it's a keyword, right? What some of them can do is take this right here, this big, big prompt, and extrapolate a keyword from it, and then plug it into Google and see, okay, what's the search volume for this keyword? Well, it is, 100 searches per month, so we could assume that this prompt, where this keyword has been extrapolated from, also has 100 searches per month. But that's a big, big, big leap. So I'm not saying not you shouldn't buy these, I'm just saying if you buy them, well, it's kind of pointless because there's nothing you can do with it. There's nothing tangible you can do with it. Because again, you have no idea about the search volume of the prompts. And if you disagree with me, if I'm missing something, please let me know in the comments because I do want to debate this. Um, I see a lot of people building these tools and we were going to build one. Honestly, we're going to build one. The reason why there's this video right here, if you search for LM rank tracker or, or any variation of this keyword, is because we were going to build this, right? We had the, the UI set up, we were going to build this. But we stopped because it is gimmicky, right? And we don't want to sell gimmicky stuff. It is gimmicky in the sense that we were going to build this and it would not bring any value to you other than it be gimmicky for you. Because again, you have no idea, you and me, right? nobody has any idea about the search volumes of these prompts. Even though you get a bunch of mentions for a search and search prompt, they could all be worthless. You could be optimizing for nothing because there's nobody searching for them. So that's it, 
rant over. Do argue with me in the comments. Comment below your points. I do want to debate you on this because I truly believe at the moment, as of today, this is BS. But let me know if I missed something. Cheers.